Today is the first day in Seattle. I tried to take a shower. Whoever took a shower before me angled the shower head outside of the shower. Like they turned it this way outside the shower. And so I was looking at the floor and I was like, oh my gosh, is the toilet leaking? Like that's so much. And I just pooped. So I was like, did I? But then I was like, oh my God, like, no, like it's a lot. And then I realized that the shower was on. The curtain was not like inside the shower and the shower head was angled outside of the shower. So I had to fix that. Um, but now we're gonna go on a run. I'm gonna try to do at least like two workouts a day while I'm here. Like one running outside and then one workout just like working um, at the gym. So we're about to go on our first workout of the day. So I just finished running the mile. I still haven't even like regulated my breathing yet, which is kind of bad. But I did stop to pet a dog. So my mile time was like, let's see. My mile time was 12 minutes and 19 seconds. And that's with me stopping to pet the dog. So not bad, two dogs actually. One was a, I was say a great shepherd. One was a, German Shepherd and one was like a Chihuahua mix. I usually don't pet Chihuahuas because they don't deserve it, but pet a Chihuahua. Um, I also ran by the nursing home and they're so sweet. Every time I come home and they see me running, they'll cheer me on and like send them their little wheelchair walker things and be like, Rrr. yeah, and it's so sweet. Now I think I'm just gonna sit on TikTok for a little bit and just kind of relax. But y'all, we have to do schoolwork today. Like I've not done any schoolwork in like three days. We have to do schoolwork because we still have a test on Monday. Okay, so we're going to get our nails done and mine look like little nasty little gremlin hands because I'm nursing school. Um, I still have this sweatshirt off when I had my run and then I have these pink um, joggers. I think they're from a brand called B. Simone. They're so good, such good quality. Um, but I think I just need a manicure, really. Cause they're just so grubby and so gross and like they just, they look bad. But I think I'm just gonna get a gel manicure and then maybe like a soft like pastel color. Cause I do have clinical, like when we get back, I have clinical that Thursday, Friday. So I have to have them off before then. But I feel like nine days is good enough to have something. Cause these look bad. So right now we're at Starbucks. So hey. fun. Hey. Oh wait, they've never, say hey to the vlog. Hey. Hey. I can't even see y'all. But yeah, we're getting Starbucks because Nisha has never had oh, a no. mango dragon fruit refresher with lemonade. Don't do me. How is that even possible? Don't. That's a sin. So my sister, I don't think I told y'all, but my sister got into the University of Washington, Seattle. And so we're in Starbucks. So I decided that I'm going to get her a little UW cup because we're planning something special for her on Thursday. And then my aunt and my mom thought that these were chopsticks instead of straws. What? Okay, Nisha's about to try her dragon fruit refresher. <laughs> it's good. Period. To be low. This is a little before shot of what my nails look like. They look disgusting. You should gotta show the, the vlog your before nails. It's giving nothing. It's giving nothing. Mom, your nails were already done, but okay. So we're at our favorite Berea taco place, Berea Tijuana. Maya's here. Y'all haven't seen her all day. Hey, Maya. Aww, that was such a maternal moment. <laughs> so me and Maya got the Berea pizza. It is gigantic. And now Maya is cutting it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just not leaving Berea to you one of this car. I don't know what's happening. The hamsters in the car were trying to kill him. And then the man was backing up and too much going on. And mom and Nisha didn't catch none of it. Didn't care nothing about it. What happened? We were literally about to die. Just about to run us over. Oh, I'm sorry. The what hamsters in the key. No, Nisha, you, you got you got uh, guilt. Mom don't have no guilt. She don't care. Oh, yeah. Are you both kicking? Oh my god, you both kicking? Are 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 you both kicking
Ooh, oh. <laughs> okay, so we are in Target. I'm getting the stuff to make the cake cookies. And then we also got the like pre-filled frosting tip from Pillsbury. I don't know how that's gonna go because I usually use the Betty Crocker icing, but I guess we'll see. I decided that I was gonna make some cake cookies. So this is just literally the Betty Crocker super moist cake mix. It's just the chocolate and the vanilla. And then I'm gonna keep them separate for some of them, but then some of the cookies, I'm gonna mix the chocolate and the vanilla together and do like a cookie swirl, if that makes sense. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I'm gonna use it every day. I literally go to Starbucks every day before I go to school. Ask mom out of Starbucks every day. Mother, is this true? Okay, so me and Maya are about to go to Ulta. Maya, do you have a check? Okay. <coughs> um, this Coraline necklace is from Spencer's Hot Topic? Somewhere. This shirt is from Old Navy. This jacket's from Old Navy. These pants are from Old Navy and these socks are from my mom. I stole these socks. I'm wearing a vintage UW crew neck, no, zip up, whatever, from Etsy. And then my flare leggings, they have like the little crisscross. They're from Alice Label. My Crocs are from Crocs, but I'm putting on my, <clears throat> I literally can't even talk. I'm putting on my Brooks Ghost 15s that I got from Zappos. And we're going to Ulta, the coffee shop, and Old Navy. So Maya can return this dress. Yeah, let's go. So we just left from Ulta. I ended up spending like 78 ish dollars on the perfume and then I got these cute little like Easter scrunchies that I'll have to show y'all later but they're so cute. So now we are about to walk to the coffee shop. Mai, where do you get it? I'm um, a fruit snack lotus. That's what she always gets. I think, should I let them pick my drink? Oh, I'm, if you do that, I'll do that. Yeah, I think I'll let them pick my drink and see what they decide to give me because all their drinks are good so it really doesn't matter what they decide to give me but yeah, I guess we'll see. Okay, so here's the thing. So my manager reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to work with one of the biggest brands in fitness. And it was gonna be like a whole trip, they're gonna find me out, so on and so forth. And I had to turn it down because I have class, not only class, but three tests, and then clinical on the days that they want to fly me out. And it's so sad. My mom's calling me. Home. Yeah, so, and they were gonna like fly me out the whole nine and it was gonna be like this amazing experience. Um, but I'm not able to do it because I have nursing school. And that really sucks. It is putting me in a little bit of a sad salary mood. Um, but the thing about it is, is that, well, while I try to make myself like not feel bad about it, is one, I wasn't necessarily their first choice. I feel like somebody else had to back out of it because of how tight the schedule was. Um, that was really my mom to drop out. Um, because of how tight the schedule is. So like, I would have been second string anyway. And I don't necessarily know how I would have felt about being second string. And like if it was meant for me, then everything would have lined up and it would have gone exactly that it was meant to go. But since it didn't, like there would be other opportunities. Like the influencer group that I work with, they work with Nike all the time. So it's not like, oh, this was a once in a lifetime chance and you just blew it away. No, did not do that. It's still really sad though. But um, I have to take some content pictures. We went to the coffee shop. It was not good. It's just like way too sweet. And I ended up paying $17, not just for this. My sister got like a really large drink and I got this, I think this is a 16 ounce, like a grande at Starbucks. But anyway, so now I'm gonna take some pictures cause I need to film some content. And whenever I take pictures and they turn out good, it makes me feel really good. So, oh man, I meant to go get that Planet Fitness key card from my mom, but she gets off early, so it don't matter. Okay, so let's take some pictures. Thank you. 
I literally turned the lights off in here because it is so orange and I hate it. Anyway, um, I decided that I just need to go ahead and take an everything shower. Like I need to wash my hair, I need to shave my legs, I need to exfoliate, I forgot my dry brush at home, that sucks. I feel like I just need to reset and what better place to reset than inside your mom's bathroom, you know what I mean? Because moms have things that are just like weird and eclectic and things that I just made me. Like who, who knows what I made me when I'm in there? I'm sure she has it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I also brought, brought, I bought a new shower tool. If y'all have not started using the Dove Men's shower tool, it has like a loofah side and like a scrubby side. It is amazing. It is amazing and I can always tell by the feel of my skin whether or not I've used it recently because when I use it my skin is very soft, very smooth, but if I go without it my skin starts getting like very dry, very scaly, I don't like it, okay? So I bought one of those and yeah, I'm just about to take my everything shower, I'm about to relax. I'm not going to play music and the reason that I'm whispering is because my aunt is asleep, like literally maybe like 20 feet away and I don't want to be loud and blast low by SZA and jam in here and twerk and slip and fall in the shower and she trying to take it down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back and letting y'all know how I feel. We'll come back at the skincare part and we'll talk. Okay, so I just finished my everything shower and all I did to my hair was I put in the Olaplex number six, which is the leave-in conditioner and I just raked it through all of my hair and then I split my hair into two sections and I like twisted this section, twisted that section and then I put it into a conditioning cap. You can kind of hear it. Um, and I'm just gonna leave that in overnight because my hair is naturally just like very coarse and very dry. And I feel like if I just like force the moisture in with the heat that's coming up from my scalp, then it'll be a lot softer. I don't know. It's something that I'm trying out, we'll see. But I wanna talk to y'all a little bit more about the partnership that I had to turn down. So basically my manager randomly texted me and she was like, hey, so-and-so brand, wants to know if you would be willing to be flown out, all expense paid, um, to X location. And reading it, I was like, this is a dream. This is a dream, this is not real life, like this is so, this is so fake, like this is not real. Like this is something for the big leagues, like the top influencers, like there's no way that this company wants me, like that it just wasn't even making sense in my head. Um, and so immediately, obviously I look at the dates that she sent me and I look at the calendar, and I have three tests on that day, and then I have clinical. So there was absolutely no way in the world that I was going to be able to do this partnership. And it made me really sad. And when I found out about it, I was in line for 360 Espresso, which is the coffee place that we were at. Um, and I'm really surprised that I didn't cry because I thought I was going to because I mean not being able to do like a partnership that is my dream like you would think that that would evoke some kind of emotion for me but at the same time if this partnership was meant for me which I really think that somebody else was supposed to be doing this but they weren't able to do it and so they you know asked me instead if this was meant for me to do then I feel like heaven and earth would have moved in order for me to do it. Like, I feel like I would not have had clinical, I would not have had tests, and everything would have just like perfectly aligned in the way that it was supposed to align. But I feel like since I had to turn down the partnership, maybe this was always destined for somebody else. But the timing for me is just not right. And obviously I was really sad about it. I was with my sister when I found out. Um, the first thing my brother said was, the test can wait, the test can wait. Again, he's 13, so I'm gonna stick that with that grain of salt. Um, but yeah, my mom was just pretty much like, um, everything happens for a reason, and like if it was meant for you to do it, then you would have been able to do it, which is true. And I definitely do agree with that. And it's like, you never really know what's going on behind the curtain. You know what I mean? Like, you never know what, you know, God, the universe, whatever you believe in has in store for you so as much as I want to sit here and like be upset and cry about it I am grateful as me and Justin say it was on the bar for me you know what I mean because one time Justin and I were in the gym and we saw this man I don't remember if it was bench press I think it was bench press every single 45 plate in the gym every single 45 plate that could have gone on that bar was on the bar now he could only I don't think he was able to get it up but it was on the bar for him it was on the bar for him, meaning that 
it was possible that he could have done this and that within itself is amazing because let me tell you something i can't lift 145 plate on bench press let alone have every single 45 plate imaginable on my bar waiting for me to push it up not possible for me <laughs> but like this partnership was on the bar for me like this was something that i could have been able to do but the timing just wasn't right and it's not like oh this opportunity is never going to come ever again and you know whatever the um agency that i'm signed with works with this brand all the time so it's not like you know like this will never come again and my manager said the same thing she was like cooler opportunities are going to come don't be upset about it well she didn't say don't be upset but she was just you know cooler opportunities will come i'm saying don't be upset about it um but yeah and it's like it's sad yes but i am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and everything is going to happen in the exact way and time that it's supposed to happen so even though i'm really sad about it and i'm gonna i already know that i'm gonna be annoyed on that day when i'm sitting in class at my nursing school taking a stupid test thinking about oh i actually could be at so-and-so location doing a partnership with this brand but i know that bigger and better things are probably on their way for me and the timing for this partnership just wasn't right but in the end what is for me nobody and nothing not nursing school not clinical not my work not my job nothing will be able to stop whatever is for me it will come when it's ready so i feel like i just kind of have to bask in that a little bit um i'm still kind of like trying to get over it because it is such a culture shock like oh my gosh like literally my dream something that's been on my bucket list since i became a fitness influencer just came and passed me by well, no, I won't say pass me by because it was something that I chose to let go. And I feel like there's a lot of power in choosing to let something go that you want, but that is not for you at the moment. I feel like that's a word. Are y'all snapping? I feel like that was a word. Anyway, um, so yeah, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Also, let me tell you about a criminal offense. I have a test for my, I literally can't see, so I'm going to use y'all. Is that okay? Um, I have, is that scary? Oh my God, is that scary? I'm sorry if this is scary um but i have a test in nursing school on monday that went straight into my eyeball and it burns so bad um but yeah i have a test on monday and it's in ob and i feel pretty good about it i finished all of my study guides today and so now i'm just in like the passive learning phase because i've done like all of my active learning i do pretty much all of my studying on word documents and quizlets and it has done me very good so far and i feel like because this test is the week after or literally the monday after spring break the day after spring break is over i feel like this test is not going to be that hard because i feel like my ob teachers are very empathetic and they're like you know what you probably want to study let's just be real and to save everybody to save them the emails that they're probably going to get if this test is super hard let's just go ahead and make this plain and fair just level the playing field ask the ask the high hitting important questions and about things that you just really need to know i feel like that's what they're gonna ask so i'm gonna try not to stress too much about it but i really do want to make an a on this test which i try not too much to care about grades anymore in nursing school because at the end of the day as long as you have a 75 after the class it doesn't matter what you make um as far as gpa but i just, you don't care about that either so that's where we're at right now um, for the rest of the night, we're supposed to be having a movie night, so I'll catch y'all up whenever we're doing that. It is super yellow. I'm so sorry. But while my mom was at work, she made these little movie night baskets. Why don't you tell me if I made it at work? Oh. <laughs> while she was on break at work, she made these. <laughs> what? They're so cute. Wait for it to focus. So cute. I put everybody on these Donald Duck orange juice. No, you didn't. For real? Yes, I did. When was the first time you ever had Donald Duck orange juice? Because I had it in 2005. Yeah. Yeah. The person who made it put them on. Not you. No, it was definitely you. Anyway. Peekaboo. So we just finished watching Wakanda Forever. That was I'm I'm probably going to cut that out. That was scary. That was scary. If I'm a good person, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just finished watching Wakanda Forever. I had already seen it. The ending was spoiled for Maya beforehand by someone we're not gonna name. I mean, the whole uh, ending was spoiled, but I... Oh, yeah. But, but I did, I do, I did know that the queen died. Oh. The movie came out so long ago, and it's on Disney+. It's really hard to get dirt out of Do we look alike? No. A little bit. That was giving sisters, not twins. Yeah. Anyway, 
Um, so the movie was really good. I ended up eating some of my Sour Patch Kids and some of my Donald Duck or- You said it don't slip. Maya said people have been making TikTok videos of this bonnet, like slinging a skillet from exactly. the little tie in the back. Putting their hands on it, <laughs> attaching a trampoline to it and running. It says I'm pretty good. I'll link it down in the description box. But anyway, it was really good. I was eating some of the Sour Patch Kids and I had a Donald Duck apple juice. But it made my stomach kind of feel not the best. So I definitely don't recommend that. We have a really long day tomorrow, so I will be getting up early. And of course, y'all are my priority. I'll be bringing y'all along with me for all of it. So we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. One of it check. Me first? Oh, oh no. You went first. Last. Okay. 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 So my fit, this is a Nike long sleeve shirt that I got from Dick Sporting Goods. These are some leggings that I got from Hey Nuts. Ooh. Okay. And then I'm wearing my white Nike blazers and some white Nike socks. Who's next? Um, so this shirt underneath I got from Old Navy. Uh, this UW crew neck I got from Bayou Village. This Coraline necklace I got from Spencer's. Jeans are from Old Navy. Shoes are from Nike. They're just regular Air Forces. I boom, so look. Crombie and Fitch hoodie. Nice little graphic tee with some Carlos Jordan 11s. What next? Okay. Misha? Okay, so I have nice Nike sweatshirt, some wonderful jeans from the Wally World, and some Nike statistic. You know? Okay. Wally World. You the last person? Period. <laughs> okay. Um, this shirt is from Target off the clearance rack. Period. These pants, I had them so long I don't even remember. Uh, headband is from Walmart. Purchase is from Gucci. Shoes, Gucci. And we out of here. Okay, um, I don't remember where we're going, but we going. Mom, where are we going? Say it's a surprise. We'll figure it out. What? Okay. No, <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we are walking in Seattle. Me and Maya are about to go and get our fused bracelets. It was just gonna be me, but then Maya got into UW, so I figured that this would be the present that I got her. So, we're about to go. Kobe's here too. Um, my mom and Nisha are still parking the car, and I'm trying not to be late, because my appointment's at 12.15, it's 12 right now, and it says I'll be there in the next two minutes, but they also don't open until 12, so. I just don't want to be late because being late gives me so much anxiety. And um, I was gonna say, and they said if you five minutes late, you cancel your appointment, you gotta reschedule, and you're not getting your money back. Yeah, so that. We are here. This is what it's called: silver and salt handcraft jewelry. Options that they have—they're so stinking cute. I think. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the heart. I think I want this one. This one right here. Oh no, that's cute. Little that heart. That's so cute. That's cute. Okay. I want to shake better out. You kind of want to see some movement up and down when you go like this. Not too much though. You want to make sure it's still nice and comfy. Could you ever like come back and add things to it? Yeah, absolutely. See? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I feel like that's what I do. Like I feel like on my birthday I'll come back and I'll get this tree. Do they have necklaces? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can basically do, since we have the chain like this, we can do any custom like uh, necklace, bracelet, anklet, everything. Right, shake that around and see how that feels. That's yeah, that looks like a good fit to me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then. the block. You can't rush the block. Period. Period. <laughs> it's the way it's shaking. <laughs> okay, so we are about to get on the ferry. I've never been on the ferry. I think the only person that has is my brother and my mom before the rest of us. It's a very new experience. So let's see what it's like. Mexican restaurant. I think I'm gonna get the no two enchiladas. My what are you gonna get? Um, I think I have carnitas. 
that. Mom, what are you getting? Nacho. Kobe, what are you getting? The nacho burrito. I don't even know what that is. Anything else, amigos? No, enjoy. It. Thank you. Okay, so here's my food. I got the enchiladas. Here's Maya's food. We're gonna hurry up because she's so hungry. She got the what did you get? Carnitas tacos, burrito locos. Can I eat? Yeah, go ahead. And then Kobe got this huge burrito. And then Nisha got the fish and chips. And then my mom got nachos. Okay, everybody, you can eat. Maya wanted to go into the toy store, so we're gonna go. Oh my gosh, they have like real toys. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's the rain globe. Why am I loud? I have one of these at home. Oh my gosh, do I need a Sasquatch one to complete my collection? We also came to the museum. This is like the jewelry exhibition. So cute. And then like every piece of jewelry has a story, which I think is so awesome. Why? Because put Lil Kiki on that for RV. <laughs> I bet you should have got Lil Kiki. Not Lil Kiki. Lil Kiki from RV would have been to beat my brains at. Oh. Okay, I never say good morning to y'all. Good morning. It is my last day in Seattle. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 12 something. But we're watching Lifetime movies. Maya's here. I just looked at how you just read my Instagram message so and didn't say anything. Nisha's okay. here. Sorry. Say hey, Nisha. And yeah, I did watch it. I just didn't listen to it with the volume up. And I feel like it was one of those videos you need to listen to with the volume up. So every time I come home, the last thing I always eat is Jack in the Box. So I got the bacon ultimate cheeseburger and then I got some curly fries. Um, the first order that they sent me, I got it through DoorDash. The first order that they sent me was messed up. They sent me just a bag full of chicken tenders. No context, just a bag full of chicken tenders. So I got DoorDash to like refund me my money like on the DoorDash app and then I they just re-delivered it. But Nisha's making chicken salad. And they're doing. Okay, so I'm getting ready to leave. Bye, Colby. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, this is Nisha. Bye. Okay, so I'm getting ready to leave. I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.